back to the daily grind thanks for checking out the channel make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is it's full time mma former ufc welterweight nicholas dalby who still got a record i believe of 14 2 and 1 a very impressive record to not be in the ufc you might think and he's also a lot of people don't know the only fighter to ever fight darren till professionally and not lose well, Nicholas Dalby is detailing his struggles with depression and alcoholism ahead of his return to um, fighting, not in the UFC, I don't believe. But either way, it's very interesting, and I want to read what he had to say, and also talk a little bit about his fight with Darren Till, who we all know is one of the UFC's brightest up-and-coming prospects, and he's undefeated. But he does have one draw on his record, Darren Till 16-0-1. Nicholas Dalby's 14-2-1. Their draw came to each other in a very entertaining fight that I recently watched on Fight Pass. I'll talk about that fight after we talk a little bit about what Nicholas Dalby revealed on social media. But this is what he had to say. Now, don't mind anything to the left of me. Actually, let's fucking, let me show you what I'm talking about because I'm fucking recording this video and I'm not gonna, you know what I'm saying, redo everything. But check me out. This has nothing to do well, this was from the last Derek Lewis video. All right, so don't read that. This is when, what he had to say up here. All right, so with that being said, Nicholas Dalby went to Instagram, I believe, and said, fighting is something we all do. We all fight bullies at school. We fight them to earn a living. We fight through sickness. We fight our inner demons. We fight our significant others, friends, and family. We fight for the rights we believe in. We all fight our own fights, small ones and big ones, every single day. For me, one of my biggest fights are coming up literally and figuratively. Literally because I've committed to a step foot to step foot into a cage and fight again after one and a half years away from the sport. After something that ended in me suffering two defeats in a row, the first ones in over 10 years of competitive fighting, but also figuratively. Figuratively because I've been battling a deep depression which resulted in alcoholism, apathy, and hurtful behavior towards the people that I hold dearest. Um, experiencing all of that and putting it behind me has been a very bumpy detour away from the back a very bumpy detour away from the away from and back to the main road that leads to the right direction how do you come back after a downfall like that can you imagine the self-doubt can my body still handle a grueling fight camp is my mind strong enough to handle the sessions where nothing is working doubt sneaks in and lingering injuries that undoubtedly lie ahead play with your head am i strong enough physically and mentally to not just take the fight but actually go in there and unleash the hell and fury i have in me when i believe in myself that i'm running on all cylinders those are the questions that will get answered before the summer arrives maybe i'll get a major injury in the lead up to the fight maybe things won't click when i'm finally in the cage maybe i'll lose the fight there's only one way to find out, and that's by fucking doing it, and doing it 110%. This is a fight to determine my future. Now is the time to prove myself to myself, my girlfriend, my friends, my family, and the rest of the world what I'm made of. That I'm going to follow up the promises that I made to myself, and that is the real fight. If I do that, to do it the very best I can, then I will win the fight in the cage and the fight for my life. Hashtag Locomotive Dolby and hashtag Road to Redemption. The Phoenix will rise freight train so that's nicholas dalby um he's detailing what he's been going through as he said he's been away from mma for a year and a half since suffering his first two losses i do believe those losses came into the ufc after his split decision with darren till but he's saying that you know his alcoholism and depression played into those which is a very real thing so he was an undefeated fighter 14 to 0 when he fought darren till you can still walk, go watch the f fight on fight pass i believe they were both 14 to 0 when they fought and since that draw he went on to lose his next two fights darren till went on to win his next two fights but it was a hell of a fight now what happened in the fight darren till dropped nicholas dobby at the end of the first round and kind of like cody garbrandt tj dillashaw he was saved by the bill it was at the very end of the round darren till was following up with some ground and pound but the bell rang second round darren till also dropped him good for good round but darren till probably won the first two rounds third round darren till actually um we find out after the fight darren till had a shoulder injury a very bad shoulder injury so he got beat down in the third round darren till did he was getting uh, it was probably a 10-8 round for nicholas dalby that's because darren till was, seemed really injured he was looking down at his shoulder a lot like he actually had problems and he almost won the fight in the first two rounds so it ended up being a draw very good fight i believe it was fight of the night between nicholas dalby and darren till and so 
Darren, uh, Nicholas Dalby, though, as he said, you know, he was undefeated for the first 10 years of his career. So I don't know what organization he's going to be fighting in in his return. I'll try and keep keep up to date on that because I'm interested in it. So with that being said, though, it is what it is, man. Let the full time family know what you think about um, Nicholas Dalby's struggles with depression and alcoholism. I know a lot of us or a lot of you might have had your own struggles. You ain't got to fucking turn this into no um fucking AA meeting at the at the bottom of the comments. But I'm just saying, man, what do you think about Nicholas Dalby and his fighting future? If you've saw Nicholas Dalby versus Darren Till, what do you think about that, man? It is what it is. Let the full-time family know what you think in the comments. I'm out. Da-da-da-da-da! It's the motherfucking D-O-double-G!